Hi, this is Dennis Shreve, and I just want to present uh, to channel partners a little bit of training on vibration analysis, something I would call vibration analysis 101. We'll start today and look at this with the primary focus being to understand the fundamentals for putting together an effective predictive maintenance or PDM program and to build confidence and success in ComTest products to meet the industry requirements. First, we'll take a review of basic concepts. Some of the topics that we'll hit here are condition monitoring and vibration analysis, vibration fundamentals, measuring vibration, and analyzing vibration, going down to diagnosing common faults and pinpointing root cause. If you look at vibration monitoring, it really applies to all machinery. Rotating machinery does vibrate, and those vibrations show patterns and amplitude that tell us about the nature and the severity of any fault conditions that might exist. This applies to motors, fans, pumps, pulleys, belts. It applies to a wide variety of machines. Machines vibrate in many different ways, high frequencies to low frequencies, simple machines to complex machines as shown in the pictures here. Typically we go out and measure the vibration then we look at the levels and the patterns, and the important thing is to see how those levels and patterns change. So it's a one, two, three step process of measuring, observing, and comparing. Vibration monitoring can tell us a lot about the machine, from flow problems to bearing faults to looseness, unbalance, misalignment, and even electrical faults like broken rotor bars. Typically, we mount the sensor or transducer on a bearing housing to get the best mechanical interface. The sensor and data collector are then taken from machine location to machine location. We study the time waveform. That's the raw signal that comes in from the accelerometer. It takes a very experienced analyst to take a look at a time waveform like shown here and, and be able to deduce what might be the machine problems. So typically what we do is go from complex to simple and convert the time waveform to a pattern or a signature, FFT, Fast Fourier Transform, is shown here. And then we look for certain fault frequencies that will help us pinpoint the problem. Tests are typically performed every 30 days. A test at a machine is typically done at each bearing point. And because the machines move in three directions, we typically look at data being in the vertical, horizontal, and axial directions so that we can help pinpoint which way the vibration is, is the most severe. We'll stop here and continue later.